Hey guys, welcome to this video. We want to find the equation of the slant asymptote. It could also be known as an oblique asymptote. So this is a rational equation. And the reason we know it's going to be a slant asymptote is because the degree on top is greater than the degree on bottom. And since it's greater by one, since the degree is only greater by one, it is going to be a linear slant asymptote. Ideally, we would factor top and bottom and things would cancel to make it easier, but this top won't factor. So we're just left with this on top and the bottom factors, but it doesn't really help us at all if we factor it. The way you solve these is with long division, polynomial long division. So we're gonna have our x cubed plus four x minus five is gonna be divided by x squared plus three x. Now immediately, I don't know if you guys caught this as I was drawing it out, but red flag, there's a missing x squared term you want to include a zero for a missing term. So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to rewrite it as zero X squared plus four X minus five. So that's the first thing that could get you here is not having that zero placeholder. So I'm glad I spotted that for myself because sometimes you won't even realize you're missing it. First step, how many times does X squared go into X cubed? It goes in X times. X times X squared is X cubed x times 3x is 3x squared. Now I'm going to subtract, and that's going to make this a negative here. So these cancel, and I'm left with negative 3x squared. And we can bring down the 4x. And now how many times does x squared go into negative 3x squared? That's negative 3 times. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. And negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Now when I subtract, that's going to make this a plus and this a plus. You want to be very careful with the double negatives there. These cancel, and I'm left with 13x minus 5. And now x squared can't go into 13x, so that's just going to be what's left over. 13x minus 5 over x squared plus 3x. So for a shortcut, this is the final answer to the question. It's the x minus 3. That's it. We're done. If you check it, we get y equals x minus 3. The stuff you have left over goes away. So your final answer is just everything that does divide cleanly. That might be all you need to know is just how to find the slant asymptote, and you just drop the remainder, and then you're done. But I'm going to try to explain why you drop the remainder. So first, if we're graphing it, we're going to find our asymptotes. So we have a vertical asymptote at 0. We have a vertical asymptote at negative 3. And then we have our slant asymptote, y equals x minus 3. So it's going to look something like this. So then after a little bit of work, we'll see that our graph looks something like this. And it's hugging these asymptotes. The idea of this line is that it's what our graph is approaching, because it will never actually hit this asymptote. It's what it's approaching as it goes to infinity, as we imagine as this x increases to be very large. Well, as that happens, this piece right here is going to go away. The remainder was 13x minus 5 over x squared plus 3x. As we go to infinity with our x, this x squared is going to get so much larger than this x that it's just going to go away. And that's the idea is it's what, are, what is our thing approaching as we go to infinity. I may not have done a very good job explaining that. I'll leave it in the video in case people did understand it. But the key to these, if you're just trying to find the slant asymptote, is drop the remainder. To just get rid of the remainder and it's the piece that divided evenly. And that's the answer to the question. If you guys want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com called slant asymptotes. There's more practice problems. Here's the one we just did with the slant asymptote, y equals x minus 3. And here's a couple more, and they all have the answer listed. So you can try them out. There's also some related pages about graphing rational functions. So you can learn how to do that. Uh, vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes as well uh, work smoothly to learn that along with slant asymptotes. So feel free to check it all out. I'll include a link down below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Comment below if you have any other math questions and I'll try to answer it for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. 